what do you think about women in power? Like women that um, are prime ministers. Women shouldn't be in power. Say that one more time. Women shouldn't be in power. And I'm saying this from a biblical sense. have a very interesting personality with me today goes by the name of ads aka big ads for the gal them um <laughs> no <I> don't mean that <laughs> don't let me start some rumors down here i haven't seen anything i'm not supposed to by the way that's my disclaimer but i asked you to come onto my show so thank you very much thank you so much for inviting me down um it's a pleasure you know stay humble keep winning um i love what you're doing you know what I'm saying? I've been checking out your episodes. Trust Have me. You? So I've got questions for you. How about that? Ooh, the whole oh, 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 that's not what yeah, yeah, that's yeah. not what we discussed no, no, earlier. No, this is how it's gonna run now. Because this on. is what you know what? What you're just showing me is some like alpha male BS. That's what you just showed me, because you just told me what to do. That's so, not alpha male. So what is it then? That's called being a man. What is being a man? Aren't you supposed to ask me? No. I'm a lady. No. You're supposed to say to me, would you mind if I... Let me, let are me, you like this 2021 man that just tells me what to do and gets 2021, away with 2021, man? Brother, I, think, I, brother, I grew up in a household where I saw... And a man that calls me bruv. Did you just hear that? What is going on in 2021? You just called me bruv. So this, you know the problem? You know what the Go problem on. is? You know what the problem is? You women take things too personal. But you just if, called me bruv yeah, and I, I have called, a vagina. Yeah, but I'm saying if I called you baby love... I'll take that. A sweetness. Hey. A tight pussy girl. What you all oh, saying oh, to me then? Oh. You see what I'm saying? You like that one, huh? You like that one? You see what I'm saying though? It's all mad. So I have to be, like, I have to keep it kind of, you know what I'm saying? Okay, bro. I always have to, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Why does it sound so wrong when you say it? It sounds so wrong when you say it. Okay, but you can say it. All right, for the purposes yeah. of this discussion, you can call me. Bro. This is how I talk. So I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm programmed to talk a certain way. It's like, right. where you grow up, it just. Because you're a man. No, no, that's because that's where I grew up. So where I grew up, I just talk like this. This is just my my lingo. Would you call it road? No, I don't. I don't talk road. Okay. I talk just me. Just you. Yeah. So back to you being a man. I'm not a man. So what are you then? You're not a boy. No, no, no. So what are you? Tell me. I'm a gifted human being. <sighs> you know, there's bare people yawning after you just said that. I'm a gifted human. That's a being. such a snore fest. Are you kidding me? I'm a, I'm a gifted, gifted human. Hu yeah. Who say you're gifted? My mom. <laughs> She's the only person, isn't it? No, she's she been saying that my whole life. You know what my mum said to me when I was younger? A lot of people don't know this here. My mum said to me, son, you're a king of our crown. You see, one day, people are going to always watch up and look up for what you do. You're going to have the power of pulling people together. But you're going to be heard, like Martin Luther King. That's what you're going to be, son. some of the things you say, I'm just saying they're not always the most empowering to women. No, it's, it's not. Look, listen, listen to me. And I think people need to understand this. I'm going to have to look at the camera and I say this. I can't, you can't always sugarcoat the truth. Right. Sometimes it needs to be boldly put out there. People are not going to like you for that reason. So what is the things that you're most not liked about, would you say, when you talk about women? What ruffles feathers? I don't think, I don't think, I think women love me. Maybe they like that. I think women love me. I, th I think women like things that are not good for them, personally. That, boy, you know better than anybody. Maybe I do. You, you don't like the things that are good for you, innit? No, I don't. Because yeah. they just, sometimes we like that roughness. But I've I've looked at your stuff. And sometimes you have a, a way of positioning a man in front of a woman. All right. So, you know, you're looking at my new stuff. Because before, when I first started, I couldn't even get women on my episodes. My whole episode was all about Tulsa. Because I'm originally from Tulsa. Right. So, if you've really been watching my podcast properly, mm. all my series from the start, my whole series about everybody in Tulsa. Because I feel like my state where I come from, there's a lot of positivity, but it's never been shown. Right. Tulsa is probably one of the most inspiring places in South London, but nobody knows about that. Right. So, I was trying to put my 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 people on the map that are doing positive things and everybody I know around me and then what doing happened? Positive Someone broke your heart? No, 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 not even that. I just said, I need to switch it up. So I've done that series now. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to start talking about positive black people inside of our communities. Right. Positive black people that are writing books because I, I've always wanted to write a book but I've always been discouraged and not felt like I'm confident enough. So I've got black authors to come on, black people that are doing good, people that have come out of prison, changed their life around. I've done so many positive things but this is what, this is where my problem lies now. With a black man, when, with people nowadays, especially some people like in the media and stuff like that when they see a black man rising 
it hurts their heart and they want to destroy and bring him down. That's why the other day everybody was rejoicing that Tory Lane's going to prison. Why would you rejoice at another a successful black man going to prison so he can't feed his family and the people around him? So this is where the misconception if the man comes. Man done something wrong. Black, white, Chinese, indifferent. Should he not have? I'm to pay saying the I don't know if he's done anything wrong, but I'm saying that we're the saying the judicial that, system have stated that he's done something. No, wrong. but I'm saying I don't know that. I don't. I don't know that. But I would even if he did something wrong, or never done something wrong. I would never rejoice at another man going down into prison because he's got a family he's got people men real men there's dependence on them people mm. depend on real men do you I'm think there's about, a lot of real men out there i don't i can't i only can give you a definition of what i call a real man i can't give you a definition of what everyone else calls a real man so when you look at your man then would you say your man them are real men i just know that they're taking care of their business they got their missus they settled down and they're taking care of their kids and to me i, I respect that whether man's working or not i don't look at man's pocket i look at man's identity and his character right. and how he is with his family how is he is with his missus? Is he faithful? Is he is he taking care of his son? Is he is he showing his son a different way that we look we lived? And, I, and that's why I respect a lot of my friends. That's why I said all my people in my area, they're all doing like great things with their lives. My friends are full-time father. He's at home 24 hours with his children. He brings his children to school and picks them up. I asked him, why did you do that? He said, my dad was never in my life, bro. Mm. I don't want my kids to grow up and have that complex of being on the roads because they don't feel uncomfortable at home. So I'm going to be there with my sons all day, every day. So and do, discipline you, do you them. think a woman's place is in the home? I think that... Talk the real things uh, now, you know. I, uh, let me tell you something. I think that women, um, women have different roles in society than men. Mm. And I believe when a woman gets pregnant, yeah, yeah, she gives birth. Right. She can't work. She can. What in the labor world? She gonna be on the <laughs> where her legs spread out. <laughs> Let me get on my laptop, babes. But give me a few days and I can work. Give me a few days. Your pum pum might be mash up, tear up, and all them thing there. They might rip out your your your, your, your pussy to your ass crack. Go so on, you that about? makes me what? Do you know your ass crack could get ripped out when you're giving out a baby? I do. I when you're pushing a out a big, head a big out head, you little big head, you, yeah, yeah, you don't want to come out. I've seen the big head. Your shoulders all lock up in you. Yes. But why does that put me in a position of working and not being able to work? I'm saying to you, after that, that's a traumatizing experience for people. Okay. Because giving birth is like, it's that like surviving death. Right. It's a it's a life or death experience. Women don't even know if they're going to make it. They start, God, please help me get through. Like, they got to start talking all kinds of talks. Please forgive me for everything I've done. If I die, I'm like, die? You ain't going to die? What's and so because she's had childbirth, she should stay home? She should, her motherly instincts is going to make her want to be home. So you see, let me just say something to you. There was women that came before us, your mother, my mother, and our grandmas. Yes. That were great women can we can we both agree on it yes okay what made them great for me was work- it that they was out working all day yes no for my mum, it was no her work ethic was mad my, she so- made sure because my dad was there drinking so she had to go and she had to make haste and make that money mm. that's what made for me her a great woman my grandmother came from guyana on mm. that boat she was like right i got kids there on her wait there I'm gonna go make life. She comes, she cleans, she nurse, she whatever. Send back and brought her children. No, but do that you know working? But do you know what that that comes down to? That comes down to our parents taught us how to survive, but not how to live. So you have to know the difference when I'm saying to you surviving and living. You, do you understand the difference between surviving no. and living? All right, our parents they done everything to keep food on our table and lights on our thing. You see some kids, I heard these kids saying, I never had food on my table, it was rough for me. I'm looking at them thinking, I did, I had food at home, but I wanted other food because I was yeah, just yeah. a greedy youth and I just wanted to be a bad youth with bad youths that come from broken homes. Yeah. But in my house, I had curry goat, white rice, everything, I had everything cooking for me. My life was sweet at home when it comes to food, lighting, hot water, clean clothes. I never I never wanted kids dirty clothes on every day. My mom washed my clothes, make sure my clothes clean. But what I'm trying to say to you is that these women that came before they they there was a guideline that they took but the women of today they think they're better than the women that came before and that's where the problem lies if society doesn't get a grip on what femininity is we're in big big trouble because women are becoming more masculine and think that it's cute or nice and their friends are gassing them up they're seeing all these weird quotes online because everybody's living off quotes but i think the women are becoming more masculine because the men are becoming more feminine and why is that because you women love feminine men why what yeah, you women love feminine men. You love bad up man and tell him, yeah, shut your mouth and don't, don't do this. I can work if I want. I'm not a stay home wife. All this stuff, what? No, 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 no brother. Actually, no, me brother. I want a traditional woman. The, the, you, 
Me want a traditional woman. What is a traditional woman? Traditional woman. Traditional woman. What is a traditional? Whatever woman? traditional means, it's a traditional. You want me to stay home, but the fact is, I'm probably earning more than the average man. No, you ain't earning more than me, and any woman that thinks she can earn more than me, I promise you. Let me tell you something. I get on my grind. You ain't seeing me all night. I work two shifts. Yeah, just I'll to be. Prove a point. Listen, yeah, I will. So why can't you just I'll jump on my Uber listen? bike and I'll ride all that electric bike. So why can't you just stay home? I'm not staying home. I can't stay home. Why? Because you're a man. No, because I come from a family of workers. My granddad was in the second world war my granddad was in the second world war he said to me he saw all of the people's head getting lick off he said he used to put the black man on the front line he saw it and said no 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 yeah i do me like that he said yo we could cook food let me cook in the kitchen they made him a chef in the kitchen my granddad came back to jamaica they gave him land yeah from that land my man's been a farmer he had bare kids my dad's got bare brothers and siblings my dad was a farmer you know how hard it was to be a farmer yeah. in the 80s you know how farming, plowing... I lived on a farm. Okay, so he was plowing and living on a farm. Yeah, then they sent him to Canada. I don't know why he went to Canada and he came back to Jamaica and then he came... I've only seen working men. How can I now grow up and say, oh yeah, I'm just going to be a stay-at-home man when all my... In my DNA, my blood, my ancestral is to work. So do you think women can raise sons? By themselves? Yeah. Never. Who's going to teach them how to be a man? Were well, you going to teach them how to pee straight? Yeah. You're going to teach them you how to punch up, punch, punch up youths in school, yeah? And, and hold his own. Because we will have to do you're, the same. You're going to teach him how to play football? Yes. How? Because we go on YouTube, we teach ourselves. No, I didn't think I'd ever have to teach my daughter you, to ride you know, a bike. Me, I did. Let me tell you something. You know, being a, being a man, yeah? It's not about what you teach him. Mm. It's what he sees. A man doesn't learn from words. He learns from actions. Right. I learned majority of stuff from my father. Look, listen to the things that I learned with no one even teaching me this. I learned that as a man, you go shopping with your missus. Like, you know, food shopping. You go shopping with your missus. Okay. I've learned that from my father. So if you see me out shopping I and I'm pushing- I do not see in shops at all. If you see me pushing a trolley, that's me be. that's what I've learned from my father. And I learned that if your woman calls you and says, come pick me up from shopping, you drive, no matter what, you're doing you could be with all your brethren you could be doing yeah I'm on, I'm, give me nah, I'm 30 on minutes I'm gone and I'm gone and I have to go and pick up my, I have to go pick up the missus and carry her on quickly I'll be back though you might have seen me because I learned that from my pups mm. and I learned other things from them as well you know what I'm saying certain times when you're arguing with your missus you don't even argue you just stay silent because there's no point of the conflict keep continuing yeah. I learned some good things you know what I'm saying don't yeah. leave your yard if you have arguments just go downstairs and sleep on the couch don't slept on the couch many times <laughs> What's this big man doing on the couch, bro? <laughs> What's this big man doing it? So, but, but, but what what do you think is wrong? Because but, there's not a lot. I'm not. I don't. I haven't met men that are doing this. I'm not gonna lie. When I go little with my daughter, I do not see men pushing no woman's trolley. Tesco, Weatros, they're not there. Where are you? This is what I'm saying. So, because the women can't teach boys this it's men have to learn from other men there's some things that you learn from your father and, and my father wasn't perfect don't ever get it twisted don't have a gambling problem you gamble hard mm. you know what I'm saying man used to take me for a haircut me and my brother be sitting in the car for one hour while my man runs into the bookie I say bro where's dad gone my brother be like bro he's in the bookies isn't it you know he's in the bookies I'm like but why isn't he going for a haircut <laughs> and he be like we're not going for a haircut we're staying there forever why are you saying that I don't want to stay there forever <laughs> so it, it, I saw bad things as well so that made me say you know what certain things I don't even like as well yeah. so I learned a lot from him in bad character and in good character yeah. how to be not the best person but to be better than what I saw does that make sense yeah. so like I said if a boy doesn't have that influence who does he grow up loving so what is a single mother supposed to do so this is where the, the community gets involved and a lot of women are not understanding this in the UK we don't have a community no we don't so hey, look, and I don't look, trust nobody around my youth cool check this in, in other countries did you know this that they're the woman doesn't even give um, breastfeed to the child. He gives it to a suckling mother. Yeah. So a suckling mother, the big woman in the village, have the big ass breasts and she pumping out two litres of that milk. And that milk is strong. Any kid that gets it, he becomes a warrior. You know, little kids, hench. You're like, bro, I my man on steroids. <laughs> little youth. You're like, bro, is he three or four? And they're like, he's six. He's, he's, he's on the suckling. He's on the, he's on the big breast. So what I'm saying is, we need more communities. We need to become a community of people. But the only way we become a community of people is this. See, the key to all of this is man loving their woman and marrying their woman and taking care of their families, building communities. Communities are only built by marriage, but the establishment of marriage in the West has been destroyed. Nine out of 10 women don't want to get married. They say, I don't want to get married. It's got to the point when women don't say I want to get married. You know what we say now? I don't even need a man. I can do it all myself. Let me hear you say that, please. I'll murder you upon this show, you know. <laughs> Let me hear you say them words. It's not that I don't need. 
I am doing it by myself. Like, see, That's but, the fact. But do you do you say do you are you a woman that says I don't need a man? I don't say I don't need a man because I like companionship. No, don't like companionship. I'm saying, do you need a man? Because I'm saying to you right if now, I, if I, I need, need a, a man, woman. Yeah, I wouldn't. I need woman. I need you, woman. I need you like never before. Is it, is it a sexual? African woman, oh you're the woman God. right now. I need you. <laughs> oh yes, God. I need is you. It a I'm saying it openly. No, you need no. Sex, I need you. I need. I need that. That. That right there. Just lay my head down and look at a beautiful face before I go to bed. I need that. I need yeah. that. I need it. I can't be around man them all the time. You know, I don't like being around. You know, I'm coming around man them too much. I get attitude and start getting rude. Now, nah, you idiots, man. These man, I just want to leave them. I'm in my head. I'm just like, these guys are making me mad. I can't be so, around so man too much. Why are you not married? What do you mean? Simple. Why are you not married? Let me tell you something. The, the communities that we come from, yeah? People don't believe in the establishment. Because you're a warrior and a king and a man and all these things, eligible and high earning and gush up in and uh, everything, everything. Listen. But, um. Listen. <clears throat> Everyone has dark pasts. Ooh. Yeah. And I've got a dark past. It. I've got a dark past, but I'm trying to create a bright future. So what happened in this dark past? Lots of things. Tell me a little piece. Just so I can understand how that led I've been, to you I've been, be- I've been betrayed many times. By women? By everybody. Okay. It's a sad story. My life has been just full of betrayal. And I've learned through betrayal to not trust people too much. Oh, so then you come with baggage. Everybody comes with baggage. So when I meet you, you- Stop, 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 stop. Everybody comes. No, nah, but some people's bags are heavier than others. No, 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 no. You, I'll, de- I'll define if your bag's too heavy for me. But you're coming on with your dark past, and gal have dark past as well. I hear that, but your dark past seems to be impacting your ability to settle down in a marriage. No, no, it doesn't. So what, what is then? It's nothing, nothing. Why I'm, are I'm, you not married? Listen, my life is very comfortable. I don't need to tell everyone what how I live or what I do but I'm saying to you my life is very comfortable I don't one thing I don't stress about is woman and not in the sense but that but you I'm, need a woman you just said yeah and, and listen I need need I'm talking about needs like with all my might I need a woman I need a companion you know why women give me different views on life that I don't have coming from a household of s- six brothers and a father that's seven men in one household could you imagine how much testosterone is going around yeah yeah too much like man's playing computer and it turns into a fight yeah Man's watching TV and they break remote. Like it's it's testosterone times ten. You know what I'm saying? So when you're in households like that, you don't learn. You I got bare girl cousins, but they're distant. They're not close. Does that make sense? So yeah, I love you a lot. I take care of you a lot when you need me. But it's not like you're with me every day. So are you a faithful partner? What's what does faithful mean? Meaning monogamy. M- monogamy doesn't exist. It only exists in the West. What does monogamy mean? That you're just sleeping with me, fam. No, what I'm saying to you that is... That you're just with me. What? You're not phoning Tracy and Brenda. You're with me. Right, cool. There's no emotional absence. You're with me. You are locked down. All right, cool. Let me break something down to you. Mm. What makes... Who told us that monogamy works? God, because there was Adam and then there was Eve. He didn't bring at Eve and Brenda and Tracy. Yeah, but, but well, let's say Abraham had many wives. So what's the problem now? All right, we didn't go to that part of the Bible. And yet. Samson had be a wife as well. So yeah, I said no. We didn't go to that part of the uh, Bible. Uh, I'm uh, starting from Genesis, uh, the okay, beginning. Okay. But because it all messed up with Eve, that's why other women and other men come into it. If, I don't even think Eve messed up. I believe that it was both of them that messed up. It how? wasn't. It's, how? A, it's a joint. It's a joint thing. Eve went and she saw the apple. Accountability. So this is what I say. If just because I do bad to you doesn't mean that you to do bad to back to me. So this is the problem now. We're doing tit for tat because he cheated. She gonna cheat. Mm. Yeah. And she gonna do it with a smile on her face, yeah. She gonna do the evil one. She gonna f- do him dirty with your brother, innit? it? With your brother. Hey, <laughs> and you got six of them. It's <laughs> mental. <laughs> she said, "My brother, I death not. I death your talk. Bomba fire us, brother." Mm-mm. That's what we do, innit? Because we go cold. Yeah, and and you see, once a woman emotionally detaches from a situation, I've got to tell you, it's a little bit messy. There, there is heartlessness in there once you have the heart you have the heart but once you lose the heart and the nurture and the love you come like enemy do you, do you, do you know why that happens though because we're, we're not taught what love is what is love then see and this is where love comes out that I'm word thought, just upsets me anyway do you know, do you know what I learned and it doesn't, it doesn't exist in the western world how about that no, let me just I'll break it down to you I saw my parents in love I know my mum and dad in love I know my dad does some bad stuff but I know my mum and dad in love you know how I know because my mum's always forgiven him and he's always forgiven her. Oh my God, why is forgiveness love? Oh, please. Forgiveness is love. Oh, forgiveness is not love. Forgiveness is. is idiotness. No, I swear down. No. See, 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 if you're a person that believes in God, you can't say that, you know. 
you can never say that. if you're a person that believes okay. in any so any, he should go out no but I'm saying you can't I'm saying you can't say that in general though, because God will forgive someone who's murdered someone and to me murder is you, cheat, you think cheating is as bad as murder you take someone off this you planet you my heart but your heart will heal how you know I could be scarred for what life what are you talking about you get, with, you get with a man like me you even forget everything in your past mm. what are you talking about <laughs> You get over, you forget of a man like me, you forget everything in the past. You say, raw. I don't even last time I've even been skin out like this. <laughs> oh mad. My, my man's got me all up on the walls and that. Why's it got to be like that though? Why From the windows <laughs> to the wall. Yeah. Why can't it be that you I'm just, just saying, I'm me? just saying, I'm saying. And you you might learn things from me that you've never learned. And that sometimes I think teaching a woman things that she's never learned is the, one of the things that she'll always, even in a hundred years from now, she'll be like, I remember he taught me something about this, you know, so she's not ignorant on a situation that could be helpful to her child or to her grandchildren, you know what I'm saying? So what do you think about women in power? Like women that um, are prime ministers? Women shouldn't be in power. Say that one more time. Please. Women shouldn't be in power. And I'm saying this from a biblical sense. How many women prophets were there? Am I wrong for saying that? How many women prophets were there? Tell me how many yeah, women prophets there were. Down. Why should I, I? So why did the Lord pick men? The Lord got it wrong. I dare you. I dare you to say the Lord got it wrong. I didn't say the Lord got it wrong, but I said that we've progressed since then, and women have been given a voice. Nah, since man, then. The, the, because they didn't have a voice then. No, this, now they have a voice, and now they've been educated. Because let me tell you, they didn't go. Women on the ain't been educated. Women are uneducated. When, when the let, let me say something. Women are women are uneducated. Let me tell you why. Because well, education is belief in God. Nine out of ten women don't even believe in the establishment of marriage. They don't even believe that marriage is anything. Nine out of ten women. I'm telling you this from my platform. So you went and found ten women, and nine of them don't want marriage no they don't want marriage i don't believe you they don't want marriage because they don't believe they don't believe in the establishment of god being a part of their relationship they believe there is no such thing as god they believe in spirituality and they believe that you know all this air and energy and all this you have bad energy i can feel it get, get the move from me move from me about you're burning your sage about i'm burning demons out you're bringing the demons in girl no, but you got to burn up. <laughs> Your ancestors was doing that for a nah, long time. My ancestors, yes, I don't know about you. Like, I, don't, I didn't see this my granddad. Came from. I never saw my granddad doing it. Oh, like, my other granddad. He was out there burning. He's like, no. Yeah, he's burning his weed. He's burning <laughs> his big spliff. Yeah. Big energies. Yeah. So that was different to so me. in Ireland, when we've got, no, it's, it's Scotland. It's Scotland. The lady in power. Scotland's functioning real well. Listen, I'm not, look, I'm not saying women can't run stuff. The best place a woman can run is a household. Yeah, and that's what they need to be running on a daily basis. I go to some girls' houses, they talk about they want to be prime minister, all of that. But they got best dishes in their sink. Their child's what got flipping it? shit in his nappy's blood. The whole flipping house looks disgusting. What are you running? You can't even run your yard. My man ain't even ate in three days. Your man's hungry. You even giving him lunch for work. What are you running? So where's the dad doing? Where are you? This? I'm where's saying, the dad I'm, doing this? I'm saying, what's she running? She can't even run her household, but she wants to run or run up all this and talk about. Bro, this the problem is Who that. Who runs the world? I'm saying, girls. Look, look. Who runs the world? Girls. No, no. Who runs the world? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So that's a, that's a that's a switch. What you just said. What? We do run the world, but you say we can't rule the world. Mm. You, 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 you know, you're not even right. And behind run. every man is an amazing woman. Of Let me 100%. tell you about Obama. He wouldn't have got where he got if it wasn't for Michelle. I respect that. So, what now? Your story that gets squashed. But you see, you see, you see Michelle. Yeah. She a real wife. You know what she was doing? Do you know she was actually taking care of everything in this household? But she was also studying and educating herself. She's an amazing woman. You're not listening. I saw my mother go to work. I've never seen a woman do what my mum can do. And I'm, I'm telling you, every man immolates the woman that he sees his mum as because they all every, most men the black men anyway respect their mum that's why you never catch man dissing their mum or cussing their mum in the neck you don't really I don't, it's not yeah, really when a man says suck your mum it's a lot yeah no I'm saying that man will say it to someone else's mum but man will never say ever <laughs> man will never disrespect their mum I'm not man that I know anyway yeah. all black men that I know have respect for their mum even if their mum's been bad to them they always have respect for their mum it's just a it's a black a black thing I've never seen man like you know when I see, see kids like swearing at their mum be like oh my god you're brave <laughs> Yeah, it don't You're really have brave. I could never do that but and get away with it. The way that you hold your mum up on a pedestal, do you hold what I'm what I'm not hearing is that you hold black women up on that same pedestal. I believe that black women are the omega and that black is the most beautiful colour ever. And I believe that the moment that black men start to marry black women and start to establish families, we start to establish communities. Once we start establishing communities, we can start establishing wealth. So what's your what's your ideas on interracial marriage? There's no such interracial to me is a white a black person with a white person, not a black person with any other race of color. If that person's got melanin in their skin, I don't believe wait, that's wait, interracial. Wait, wait. Say that again? So look, 
if I, I ask this question to everybody, yeah, now you want to go deep now. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna get finished now. You shouldn't even <laughs> open this topic up. What's I don't look at myself as a black person. I look at myself as a melanated person. Black is this color. Me, I'm brown. Right. Let me get you this right. Your top is black. That's colorism. Where, I mean you. I mean you. Black. That's colorism. Your so. So what is the term? Who made the terminology black? And why do I have to identify myself as black? But why wouldn't you want to identify yourself as black? No, I don't want to. Black get, is power. Black is strong. Black is when you're ready to attach to the word black. You do. No, but, but I don't. Then wanna, now you're telling me about your melanin. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I'm. I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you. And listen closely. Melanated. And there's a reason why I say that. I've studied history. Okay. The word black wasn't given to us as a word of empowerment. It was given to us as a word of discouragement. Did you so know that? Why can't we change the outcome of the word black? It's why like can't changing. We all right, cool. It's like you the can't power. you can't change a word that is used for evil. It's just like the word nigger. People keep using that word, thinking that it's a word black of power. People use that word nigger though. Yeah, but I'm saying I don't. I said this before, and I say this again. It was a word that the white man used to, ch- to demoralize us. So I don't try and use that word as much as possible. If I use it, it's in a special circumstance, but I don't really like using it. I'd rather say my mom, my homie, my mom, my brother, whatever, whatever. I don't use that word because it was a negative word in the start. So trying to use it as positive now, if someone else uses it that I don't like, like a white person or Asian person, I'm going to be like, brother, what are you saying? What are you talking about? So I might as well not use the word in the first place. And it's the same word with that word black. That word was never historically used as a word of empowerment to black people. Melanin has always been something that's inside of our skin. Right. So we have to understand the terminology. If a black person gets with an Asian woman, what color is the child? Brown. Same color as me. Oh well, yeah, just a different So they're black. Because the child takes the takes the lineage of the father. Really? Have you ever seen so that? That means they're ignoring the lineage of the mother. No, but I'm saying but have you ever, ever seen a have you ever seen a, a, a child that comes from a, a Asian mother and a black dad and a child don't look black? You wouldn't even know if the child's black. I've got bare people in my family that we called Cooley. In my colony, we right. call it Cooley, yeah. And sometimes so, we so, like so, 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 so are they black or what? They're half Asian, half No, black. no, no, they're Cooley. So in Jamaica, we have, a, we have a race of people called Cooley. Right. Yeah, and, and we class them as black. We don't look at them as anything different. You might not. No, the people in Jamaica, I'm telling people, Cooley people are, are black. We call it, yeah, Indian, what, what you are. But, okay, but so really, in they the mean UK black they're not Jamaican. And a Bengali woman meets a Nigerian man. I have a child. That child's black. Why is the child not black? It described to me what a black person is and why they not make they, they don't they don't fit that well, description of black. It's not a black child; it's a melanated child. It's a melanated child. So now we're finally getting somewhere. You see how you, you see how I've changed your opinion. <laughs> no, on no, things. you haven't. I was just it's saying what you this said. This is incredible. So this is the first time a woman's ever agreed with no, me. No, I didn't agree. Oh my gosh! What I didn't. Do this was is agree. amazing. This sounds like toxic masculinity to me. You're labeling me. <laughs> yes. Why? Because no, no, no. Don't no, label me. No, let's talk about toxic ma- masculinity. And that doesn't actually. exist. How does it not? I don't believe in all these titles. When we was back in the day, when we do was you know what toxic mas- masculinity is? Do I don't, you believe that men do you sometimes not, use their power and position to overpower women? Let me say something to you. I'll break this down to you. I don't believe in putting labels on things. Do you know why? When you when you add too much labels, it gets to a point where p- ignorant people use smart labels because they think they know what they're talking about. I knew somebody that called someone a narcissist because they never listened to their opinion. I said, you know, that doesn't even make sense. That's not even what a narcissist is. And I broke it down to them what actually a narcissist is. And I broke down the whole word to them and the the etymology of the word. People don't even know what words actually mean and how powerful they are. But there's definitions. If you keep- I looked it up. It's a definition in the English dictionary. My sister, listen. If we keep calling ourselves negative- things then we're going to start believing that we're negative and play up to be a negative so the example that i'll give to you is that a lot of people say black women have attitudes mm. yeah i don't say that you know what i say black women are strong and they've been through a lot so they know how to carry themselves and obviously they would if they come from a strong family you come from a, a worry a warrior family why would you be weak how does that ever, ever make any sense does that make white women weak I don't know about white women. I don't. I, I couldn't speak. I've never been in a well, house. You're an educated man. No, you must have ha- known some white women. Yeah, known and know win is two different things. So you could know of, of many people, but the only time I say you actually know someone is in three ways: if you travel with them, done business with them. <laughs> no, no, no. Even then, you don't know the woman. <laughs> even know the woman's family racist and then want kill off your black grass. You, you come to the yard and say, "Yeah, black boy around there," and then you only found out after you breed up the thing. So listen, only if you done business with her. Or business with them, um, you traveled with them, or you lived with them. That's the only three ways you'll know someone. Go traveling with anybody, and I promise you, you'll get to see the real yeah, who yeah, they you are. Do. You'll be this guy is 
dingy. Yeah. All these years, I never knew you was that bad. Or you live with someone, you'd be like, this person's dirty. So you've never dated a white girl? Or out of your race, I should say? I've made many mistakes in my life. What does that mean? I, I just said. What Can I you said. expand on that? Please? I just, I've made many mistakes in my life. And what was one of those mistakes in um, relation to what I just asked? Look, you? Listen, see me. I come from a place where I I know myself, so I should know, you know, where I can go and where I shouldn't go. You know, have you ever seen Forbidden Fruit and um, Jungle Fever? You know, Jungle Fever is. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm also clear. seeing Get Out. Yeah, I'm the guy in Get Out. <laughs> I, I'm the guy in Get Out. I'm sinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. So you've had to like talk to me about it, man. I want to hear the tea. Tell me about this relationship with this woman that's got you like. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't. Um, she knows who she is, and I don't give energy to bad vibes. See, sometimes oh, you just talk about the energies and the bad vibes, but yet black woman is out there talking about that, and they get their sage. You no, see, no. you are a hypocrite. You just say you don't like it, but yet you spit it. No, I'm saying bad vibes, and as in sometimes you talk about something that will bring up negative emotions when oh. you when you're in a positive place at that moment and positive and negative is actually real you know what i'm saying if i come in here in a negative screw face and oh, don't talk too much you'll feel that kind of that that animosity doesn't make sense but if i come in there smiling lovely dovely you know what i'm saying give you that lovely, little uh, the little that little sparkle in the eye thing you know you know that little sparkle in the eye thing you know you know to hey you know but if if i on because what I want to ask is about the rape culture. So I rape like to, culture. Yeah. The hell. So I like to go out, right? <laughs> and I like to wear what I want to wear. Yeah. I have a chest that is a thirty-eight triple. You got G. big breasts, baby. Yes. Yeah. Cool. No and problem. that's one of my beautiful assets. Mm -hmm. And I feel I should be able to show them as much as I want. Okay. Some would say I'm asking for trouble because if I went to my car and a man raped me. I was looking for it. What's your thoughts on that? Looking for it? Yeah, because I got my bits out. And, 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 let me just break something down to you. You are never looking to be raped. Any man that goes out there with the predator mindset that he wants to rape a woman, I believe that he should be killed. I don't. F I feel like what he's taking from that woman, he he could never give it back. So I believe that his life should be taken. That's my honest opinion on rape. And what other things should a man's life be taken for? What about paedophilia? Same thing. I feel like your life should be taken from you for that. That's that's my. But we're opinion. not God though. I don't care. I feel like if you pedophile my child, then I have to take your life. So you would? I would. I would kill, and I'd go to the police station after with my hands bloodied, and I say, "Arrest me and take me to prison, please." And I go into the courtroom and I say, "He pedophiled my child, and I took his life. Give me how many other years you like." As mad as it sounds, as crazy as it sounds, I would do that for my child. That guy's not living. He's not allowed to live after what he's done to my child. My child's not going to be able to live with her life. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not allowed to live with his. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do it with a smile on my face and I'll do it really gruesome as well. What's the maddest thing you've done? You don't want to know that. I, I can't do. say that on camera. She said, like asking me what the maddest thing I've done. She want me to go to jail. You trying to indict me? Are you a fed? Are you undercover? <laughs> she trying to say what the word. <laughs> Bloody hell. I thought nah. I had you there. Oh, he's going to spill them beans. <sighs> So, what about, lastly, about our alpha females? There's no such thing. What message will you give to us ladies who are running their households, have a clean household, looking after our children, working, and not relying on a man? You see, the word relying, it makes me feel uncomfortable. The word needing makes me feel comfortable. Let me tell you why. We need each other. Let me tell you something. Without a man and without, without a king and a queen, there's no castle. You ever seen a castle with no king and queen? Every king's got a queen, even if he ain't nothing. Even look, look at the, look at the, look at the yeah, queen now. Queen, yeah. She got a dead husband. Nobody cares about that old guy. He's gone. Rest in peace. Oh, is he dead? Yes. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. I don't even know, but I'm saying she was married to a don, innit? I don't even know who he was, innit? Some old looking don, innit? I don't even know who is he. What's his name now? I Prince don't, Andrew no. or something. No, Chuck. No, Andrew. No, it's Andrew, man. What's Prince, his name, man? Andrew, Prince Andrew, Prince Andrew, <laughs> Prince Andrew. But what I'm saying is, no, Andrew's a son. Everybody oh, needs a companion, not for just sexual. You see, this is what I was trying to say. And I said this. If you really watch what I say, you know I said this. I said a man is not just a financial help. A man is not just a physical help. A man 
is a spiritual help mm -hmm. and this is where we've got lost in society a man sitting with you and praying with you yeah yeah, yeah it's big. a man telling you look we need to go and worship god together mm -hmm. a man telling you that god's watching us forget anybody else i don't want to cheat on you not because of you and i love you god's watching me i might go hellfire for this mm -hmm. that is a real man teaching his kids how to believe in god and that you know you don't take other people's lives not because of me son not because of what your mom said not because your grandma said because god don't want you to do it yeah where is that in society at the moment where do you see men spiritually uplifting women now? So obviously the women are going to say they don't need men because all they can do is bring a little bit of money and bring a little cookie. That's what they can bring. Yeah. They've lost. They've lost all spirituality. They've lost. They've not in the spiritual. They've lost all religion. All all belief in God. You meet a man, you start talking about going out. This girl, man. Not going to church. Um, this girl, she's annoying me, bruv. She's talking this. Oh, she, she's even probably gonna let me hit, bruv. She's talking all this. She want to talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so long, bruv. I'm trying to cut. This is what I'm trying to say. Weak men because they they're growing up in weak households where their mother where their mother and father is not teaching them just basic etiquettes of belief. Does it make sense? So kids are growing up non-believers, bro. Just don't believe in and that's why you see the you dip, dip, dip man in the throat kill man down make him swim on throat where do you think the man gets that from that emotionless that just to stab someone and talk about it so easy you think that's a normal thing to, to stab people it takes a lot to actually hurt someone and see them bleed and then hear about them dead and then talk about, it's it's not a normal thing it's it's actually an unhuman characteristic even men that went wars and killed people they never went back to their village and start talking about their stories yeah, they yeah. were devastated about the stuff they used to see so what makes it so normal now because these kids don't have no belief in god and the women ain't establishing nothing in the house because they're too worried about i need to put my makeup on it takes me over an hour to put my makeup on but i can't spend an hour to even worship my lord so that's where the breakdown goes down to prince philip by the way it's prince philip yeah big up prince philip man shout out to you big man you know what i'm saying so condolences note, to the family you know what i'm saying i'm a girl that does like contouring and that and I will take that on in, on board when I am putting on my makeup. The amount of time that I spend doing that, I should give it to the Lord. But I must say, you've come today. Certain things has resonated, and I'm looking at you a little different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, uh, look, I was expecting pure ignorance from your mouth. You know, no, you, you don't. Pure ignorance. A lot of people because I did see mm? just quickly a little live. That was the other day. Which one? With who? <clears throat> With Sadman? Mm. Yeah, but what does that mean? And there was a lot of stuff you were saying, like maybe in anger. Not anger. Not anger. I don't, I don't get angry. Seriously? I don't get angry. I get even. <laughs> we won't go there. Anyway, this has been Big Man, you know. He's a big man now. I want to put the big ads in front of your name. You deserve the big title. Thank you for coming onto my podcast. No problem. It's been amazing talking to you. Yeah, Hopefully, you we'll be up soon. No problem. Love.